Good morning everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today we're going to be talking a little bit about ATI Super Dampers and the tool that they make to install and remove dampers and we're going to actually remove the one off of my 6 liter here uh, on, on the video and kind of show how the tool works and hopefully it all goes well and I don't break my crankshaft. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back here with Tyler with Boost Junkie Media and I'm gonna get into this video here, just kind of show you what I'm working on. Um, so this is, I have the ATI uh, Balancer Puller and Installer Kit that they sell. Um, it's part number, let's see if it's on here, I think it is. Part number 918999. And I'm basically doing this video because I really couldn't find any good videos out there specific to the LS platform for using this tool and everything. Um, and so I kind of just wanted to you know, have a resource for people to use if they need it to do this because I'm kind of learning this as I go since I've never used this kit. Um, I think the key to this kit is for the LS stuff is this stud right here. And this stud is part number 918999SC. I picked this up from Summit where I picked up the kit. And this is specific to the LS. It's got the LS thread here. And it's also extremely long to go into the crankshaft because the snout on the crank is so, is so long. Um, so basically, we're, we're, we got this piece. This is separate from the actual kit. And then we're gonna have our adapter, which is gonna connect that shaft to this. This is our drive nut and center shaft. And then you've got your base plate, which your base plate goes, attaches to on the, on the center shaft and drive nut. And then you've got bolts that go through these holes and attach to the balancer. You have to take out the three 12 points that are here. So you're gonna take those out. This is gonna go up there like that. And then as you turn the drive nut off, it's actually gonna pull this out from the outside and it's gonna pull the whole balancer assembly off. So that's kind of what we're doing. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll just kind of talk a little bit as I'm doing it. All right, so we've got our stud here. We're gonna go ahead and spin this guy in. And we're gonna put our adapter in here. And we're going to spin him in. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had to take a quick second and just grab the ratchet. So uh, this is a 16 millimeter. So the 16 millimeter goes onto that stud and I just ran that in hand tight like that. Uh, so now that we've got that, we've got our center shaft and drive nut. So the, the center of this shaft in here is threaded and it's threaded the same as the end of this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin this out just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and spin that on there. Make sure that's nice and tight. We're gonna spin our drive nut in. I basically am just gonna go in until it stops. And then you're gonna put your base plate on. Now your base plate has an indented area with like a, a spinning like disc with a, maybe a little bearing or something in there. So this side always goes against your drive nut. So I'm gonna put this on like that, and that's gonna go up there, and then the kit comes with these three bolts here, and these are gonna go into the three holes where we removed the 12-point bolts from in the balancer. So these three are what attach the base plate to the balancer itself, and then the base plate is gonna be pulled out with the, with the drive nut. And I'm sure these are not the same size. They are not. So we'll go ahead and go in finger tight and I'll grab a wrench. And the bolts are gonna protrude out the back a little bit of the balancer. The balancer is open though, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I just wanted to, when I was doing this, I just wanted to make sure that they were not gonna protrude out and hit anything or get stuck or anything. Of course, whenever you need the right size socket, it's never there. 
That's how it always works. There we go. Okay, so you've got those in there all the way. And so now what we're basically gonna do is we are going to hold this here and put our wrench here. So we're gonna spin this back out so that it's pulling on that plate. Like that. And then all we should need to do is hold this here spin this out with a wrench here and as this spins out it's going to pull the base plate out and it's supposed to pull the balancer and everything out with it um, so that's what we're going to try next so wish me luck and hopefully we don't destroy a crankshaft Okay, I think that was it popping loose. So I think it's working. Yep, sure is, I can see it moving. So, don't let that little pop like that scare you. Maybe I should have mentioned that. Um, but it's, if it's been on there for a while, it's gonna be definitely gonna be seated on there. And so when it pops like that, that's just the metal finally breaking loose. And now that it's coming off, it's actually coming off easier and easier, which that's always a good thing. You never want something to get start getting tighter as you're loosening it. That's always a bad sign. And one thing of note here with this, um, once this comes off, it's not gonna fall because you've got the center shaft here going into the center of the crank and all that is still connected. So once this comes off, it's just gonna hang out on that, on that shaft. So it won't all come apart until you take these bolts out, take the drive plate off or the base plate off, drive nut and all that, then the balancer will come off. So you don't have to worry about it like falling um, as you're running it off the rest of the way. It. We're getting close. Let's see if I can work a little magic here and just keep going around. Get really close. Getting really loose now. And that's pretty much it. Okay, and it's off. And there you go. There's the proof that I was talking about. You don't have to do anything. It'll just hang out there on the front. Um, so once you've got this off, then you can hold all of this. You're gonna spin these out, these three here. Your base plate can come off and then you can thread your center shaft out 
like that, and then your bouncer will come off. And it's just like that. It's that easy. Really wasn't that bad at all. I was, you know, kind of uh, not wanting to do that because I was worried that something was gonna happen, but that wasn't bad at all. So once I do the installation, I'll do another one. But for now, that's all I got. We'll see you later.